This was the scene in Huntington Harbor Saturday night as the Huntington Lighthouse officially turned 100 years old. The Huntington Lighthouse Preservation Society threw a big birthday party celebration. About 100 people attended. They even had a lighthouse-shaped cake. The big moment was at 8.42 p.m. when they lit up the light exactly 100 years after the light was first lit in 1912. Everybody's been rallying around it. Uh, the spirit of this whole event is great. And um, what could be better? It's 100 years later. We're standing. Uh, we're in good shape, except for the riprap, of course. But um, 27 years ago, this building was scheduled for demolition. And um, when we approached the Coast Guard to take it over, we were the first group in the United States to ever approach the Coast Guard about taking over an offshore lighthouse. And they thought we were insane. They really did. It was scheduled for demolition. They said, you can't do it. The building's too far gone. But as you can see, after 27 years of restoration work by the group, the lighthouse still stands tall and has become an important symbol for the town. It's been the maritime icon for the entire township of Huntington, which, of course, is this beautiful bay and encompasses five harbors. Uh, when I was a little girl growing up here, we would get something from the Haleside Fire Department, and it had all the emergency numbers. And um, it was kind of funny because it had a picture of this lighthouse. And if I was to show it to you now, you would just be horrified because it was in disrepair and ruin, crumbling. And I remember when I was thinking, uh, when I was a little girl, looking at it going, why would they put this ugly, crumbling building on this postcard? And it was because it meant something, and it meant something to a lot of people that were old timers in the fire department. They grew up when it was pristine and it was beautiful, and their parents told the stories of the lighthouse and the previous lighthouse. And now, here it is, the town of Huntington, it's in their logo, it's the logo for the Chamber of Commerce, it's the logo for signature premier properties. Every time I turn around, it's the logo for one more person. So it's all that more important to preserve it. Local officials presented proclamations from the state and the town congratulating the society for restoring and preserving the historic landmark. I've known her for almost 20 years, but it's really been the last, you know, five, six years that I really got to know what makes you tick. <laughs> and it's this damn lighthouse. <laughs> I actually grew up right over there in Lloyd Harbor and ever since uh, I can remember I've been looking at this lighthouse and uh, to see it uh, go through its many stages of decay and, and over the last 10, 20 years to see it come back again, it's really, it's, it's been quite amazing and, uh, and it's really thanks to a group of uh, very dedicated volunteers that uh, do it all for the right price, nothing, uh, just from the heart and uh, we're very happy that uh, we were able to secure on the state level a $250,000 grant. We're going to have to raise another $250,000 to try and match that. But once we do that, uh, we know that this lighthouse will be here for another 100 years. It's more than just a, a, a landmark that gets you home in the dark. It is, it's a piece of Huntington. And when you take a look at the, whether it be the Chamber of Commerce uses it on their logo, wherever you go, you see this lighthouse as part of their, their uh, identity. Uh, we're, we're very, very lucky to have such a wonderful place. Huntington Town Councilwoman Susan Berlin lightened the mood with some lighthouse humor. What instrument do lighthouse keepers play? It's an easy one. What instrument do lighthouse keepers play? Fog bells. The fog horn. The fog horn. The fog horn. How do lighthouses communicate with each other? This is appropriate for tonight. How do lighthouses communicate with each other? Light. Light. Shine language. Oh. <laughs> what kind of house weighs the least? What kind of house? <laughs> it's great to be here on the 100th anniversary of the lighthouse. It's a treasure that we have here in Huntington. You know, it's, it's a labor of love to keep this place going, and it's uh, the, the least I can do to be here to support it. We really implore anybody out there who hasn't been out to the lighthouse, come see the lighthouse for yourself, donate to the lighthouse, and make sure that it's here for at least another 100 years. But Councilwoman Berlin says if you do visit the lighthouse, you have to remember to wear the proper attire. It's the only place that I go to in the town of Huntington where I don't wear heels. Pam Setchell is uh, the queen of the lighthouse, and when she demands you can't wear heels, then you don't wear heels. And I wear heels everywhere I go, but I have a lovely pair of neon yellow boat shoes. So, <laughs> here you go. Boat shoes. Neon yellow boat shoes. <laughs> totally flat, which is a lovely thing. 
the lighthouse also played an important role in Huntington's historical development. <laughs> And Huntington has a very rich nautical uh, history and tradition. I mean, a lot of people made their living on the water, uh, fishing or baymen, um, a lot of trade, there was coastal trading, and this is a very important uh, beacon uh, in the early 20th century. And now Huntington's uh, boating is mostly recreational, and it's still uh, important for navigation, but it's also a place for people to just come and see, even if it's on a clear, sunny day. People love to come out and see the lighthouse because it's it's a beautiful structure as well as uh, an important navigational aid. Yeah, there had been an earlier lighthouse uh, on the uh, point of Lloyd Neck, uh, known as the Lloyd Harbor Light, uh, which was more of your traditional uh, cylindrical lighthouse tower. Uh, but then this was built in 1912. Uh, it's it's a new technology, reinforced concrete, and a new style, sort of a Renaissance revival style. It was different than the typical lighthouse you would see uh, and still do see. Um, and I think that makes it special as well, that it's, uh, it's a beautiful structure and it's, it's a little bit different, which uh, makes it a little unique and, and makes it a special thing for the town of Huntington. It almost was lost and it was a small group of volunteers who got together and saved it. And that's really anything that's going to be preserved, any building to be preserved needs people who love it. And there's a lot of people involved who love it a lot and I think uh, everybody in town really does love the lighthouse and loves coming out here when they get the chance. Catering for the party was provided by Oldsfield Inn. Their staff actually had to cook and prepare food on a barge. It feels wonderful to be here. It feels great to be here. You know, it's a sense of community and uh, something that's really great and for the environment to help the lighthouse stay afloat and uh, keep it thriving. Well, we couldn't ask for a better night at the lighthouse tonight. Um, this is great for us. We're very proud to be here. We're serving very summery items. We have a beautiful raw bar upstairs with shrimp cocktail, oysters and clams. Um, we have um, endives and grapefruits, um, grilled skirt steak, marinated chicken, um, tomato and mozzarella, uh, caviar. Um, so tonight there's a, lot, there's a lot to offer and I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. They say it was kind of challenging cooking food on a moving boat. We prefer our, our home kitchen, but uh, we, we're, we're making do and it's no problem and we're, we're happy to be here and we're, uh, we're positive. We're going to have a great event. It, it is very unusual. It's kind of difficult. There's no electricity and no water, but um, if you plan properly, why wouldn't you want to be here? And with food comes drink. Most of the night, everyone was walking around with special jars of this newly created drink called the Rip Wrap. Yes, Rip Wrap. These are the Rip Wrap is the rocks that go around the uh, go around the uh, the lighthouse that protect it from the waves. Uh, apparently, it's also a good drink that they've been making, uh, which also brought all the local bars together to compete for a drink that would be uh, really, you know, stand up to the test of time like the Rip Wrap, I guess. And the Preservation Society says they hope this lighthouse is still around in 2112. These structures all over the country are incredibly important and they should be saved because they're a part of history and we're a very, very, very young nation and we don't really have a grip on history. You know, when you go to England, you go to Europe, you go to the Middle East, you see history. And if we can't hang on to something that's a hundred years old, we've got a lot of learning to do. And I just want it to continue to go on and a hundred years from now I want kids to enjoy it and um, wrap their arms around it like I have. For more information about the Huntington Lighthouse Preservation Society, you can check out their website at HuntingtonLighthouse.org. In Huntington Harbor, Chris Kalora reporting.